It is the 21st day of November 2012. We're here on Mind Crack, and we have some interesting science to perform today. But first, here's your picture of the day from LP Chuggles, who has banana. It is Work Wednesday. We're going to be doing some work today, but first I have to do a little bit of science. Science, science, science. We'll get to that, though, in just a moment. First, I need to talk about what's been going on in the Minecraft server. Mr. Zisto was on, and he was render, uh, renovating his mine area. Uh, Blame the controller was on, and he's been finding lots of dungeons in his recent caving trips. Millie was on, and uh, he's been doing some more work in his side of his lab Jason was on and started working on his witch farm even more. And lastly, Beef was adding some class to his little area there. Now, what we need to do is we're going to be trying um, something that I don't really understand how it works. I can't really describe it, so I'm just going to kind of do it right now. Um, and yes, it's for a prank. Um, I've been working on a prank idea, and I think it's about ready to go, trusting that this works. Um, already it seems to be a little loopy, but we'll see how this goes. Um, we don't really need to use that many. So I'm placing these signs on the signs, right? Now, if I was to put gravel on top of them, it would be supported. Now, what happens if I break this one? Okay, now that's intriguing. That, that was the intended result, okay? So, we want the gravel to fall. Now the problem is, can we take out a line of signs like that? I don't think we can. So what we need to come up with is a different solution. Um, and I, I have an idea. Do I have a shovel on me? I do not. I'm sorry. So we're going to have to use our, our magical digging pick. Um, so my alternative idea involves... Here, we'll, we'll just uh, do it right up against the wall right here. We'll just do it three wide here. Okay, having this be supported, like thus. And then this has those. So we'll just uh, create a... Small little platform, like thus, and we'll just stack it right on top, like that. We don't need those up there. Okay, so, um, let me go grab some water. Quick. Let us see. I don't have a bucket of. Yes, I do. Dun, 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 dun. This might not actually work properly because the water's going to want to disperse itself. Unless, of course, I go um, like this, maybe. Break this. Okay, so if I poured water into this spot, actually, you know what? Let's let's go back here. Perfect. It drops the gravel perfectly, and even stops the water. Okay, so this much is confirmed. So I'm. Pretty much ready to start my, my, my in-deep scientific planning now that I've confirmed that little thought in my head that I can destroy, like I, I can make a whole bunch of gravel fall at one time. So, um, and that's just the beginning of my prank, because uh, I've been taunted quite a bit inside the past about my prank wars, uh, what I put out for, for my prank wars, and um, I'm a little sick of it. So I'm going to do a good prank. I'm going to... 
and pulling out all the stops. I'm doing something that people haven't done before. And in my opinion, it's going to be something completely awesome. Hopefully. But if not, well, we'll just have to keep on going. But we can confirm that um, that, that bit has worked there. I don't really know what else I need to work on today. Um, let us see. Um, you know, I want to I want to create a better path um, from like like a like a like a staircase. So here, you know, what we'll do we'll get some dirt and we'll start working on a on a temporary path. Um, but let me talk about New Super Mario Brothers U, which uh, I'm not going to reveal any spoilers. Don't worry, you're you're free to stay if you haven't been in the game because I haven't either. Um, <laughs> and it's just a standard Mario story. Peach gets kidnapped by Bowser. That's, you, you know. Um, but anyway, I've been playing that. And I've been playing it entirely thus far um, with at least a second player, sometimes a third player. And I have to admit, it has really blown me away. It's really good. It is. It has been absolutely fantastic. You know, I've, I, for the most part, I'm a... I'm a guy, with, with, when I want to play Mario, I want to play Mario by myself. I don't usually want other people because usually it causes... Too much ruckus and stuff. Um, but I have to say, it's been a double-edged blade thus far, in, in a good way. In that, um, I felt that occasionally, if I didn't have my friend there, if I didn't have Alex playing with me, I would have been uh, dead long, long before. Vice versa, I think sometimes that, you know, it's like, oh, well, if only Alex wasn't here, maybe I could actually beat that, you know. Um, and that's not a bash against Alex, it's a bash against our skills together. Um, but yeah, I, I honestly don't know what to... I, I, I'm, I'm liking it, but I'm not sure if it's absolutely perfect. Like, there's some times where I'm just like, okay, Alex, please go away and let's let me beat this level. And, um... I don't know. It's okay, though. I mean, I haven't laughed that this hard. Good thing I have my, my shoes on. Um, oof, tickling my little note card with my shirt. Um, but yeah, sometimes I think it's it's really weird. Sometimes I think it's really good. Um, so now what I'm... I'm going to go all the way down here. Can we survive? Yay, that was fun. Um, and we're going to create a spiral staircase of sorts. Um, okay, so we just need to keep on building. And we can always modify this more as time goes along, of course. Right now we're just trying to get a basic spiral staircase heading up so we can put on some wood decoration blocks on it later on. And modify it there. Um, now, I've been really enjoying the Wii U, so that, that that's that. Um, if you've been watching my Ocarina of Time Let's Play, you'll know that I've been having a lot of trouble with that. And uh, I'm returning to it here after recording this, and I am I am looking forward to it, kind of, uh, but not extremely. Like it's kind of like uh, I don't really want to do this again. <laughs> Um, but, whatever. We'll, we'll work through it. I feel like I'm out of commentary. Oh, no. I'm out of commentary, guys. <laughs> That's one thing if you're a YouTube commentator and, like, you know, you, people always ask me about They're like, hey, wh wh what do you need to do to become a YouTube commentator? I'm like, uh, make videos and, uh, good luck. And they're like, well, that, that's not too hard. I can make videos. It's like, yeah, okay, you have fun with that. See you later. Bye. And there's like, hmm, well, that was weird. MC sure is a weird guy. Because they don't realize, <laughs> after 700 some odd videos, <laughs> you're, sometimes you're, you're sitting here and you're just like, uh, have I ever told you guys? Yes. Oh. Okay. What about that time that, yes, MC? You see, it's different for somebody like Good, because, you know, he's got. He's got stories up the wazoo, like things that, you know, he, he's, he's done things in life. I mean, myself, I, there are, uh, okay, here's a story. I got a story, you know, I can do stories. I got this. Um, back when I was a little kid, we used to go to camp every, every summer. It was fantastic. Give me my dirt back, stupid thing. Um, dirt bag. <laughs> um, we used to go to camp every summer. And 
Um, it was it was a ton of fun, and I had a red wagon, a little red wagon. Um, and the one day we got the idea, okay, let's put one of my friends in, and I'll and I'll carry him, or, and I'll and I'll and I'll wheel him around. It was my idea, not his. I don't, I, I wasn't a slave, a little bit, maybe a little bit. Um, but um, he, it, it was all fine and dandy, um, until it was a really muddy day. And we fell. Um, and needless to say, you can already figure it out at the end of the story. I face planted directly into the mud. I, I have a photo, but I, I don't have it like handy. Like I, I can't like put it put it online. But um, it's it's a pretty funny photo of just little me. Cause, Cause you know that's what the parents did. The parents didn't didn't like say, oh no. <laughs> MC <laughs> They didn't call me MC, they called me Matt. Um Are you okay? No, they said let me get the camera. I'm just like, hey, yo, can you can you like help? And they're they're like, Oh, you're so cute. I'm like, shut up and clean me. Or or help me. I'm am I fine? Yeah, cl clean me, women. No. <laughs> what? Um oh, man, this this spiral staircase has become much more complex than I feared. Because I forgot how stupid spiral staircases are. Um, whoa. But no matter. I have, we, we have the time to build a giant spiral staircase. Let me just make sure that this works. Um, you know, if, if we put in one of these here. We put in one of these here like this. Bam. Yeah, see that works fine. It's just about building it up. And then adding some sort of railing to it. Boom. Okay, um, Hyrule Historia is coming out uh, this January. Um, if you don't know what Hyrule Historia is, um, if you, well, yes, I'm talking about Zelda again. Um, basically, the Legend of Zelda has been going on since for, for a long time, since since uh, the 80s, and um, people have always theorized that there was like a timeline associated with the games, like they happen in a certain order. And for the most part, they're correct. There is a timeline. However, the timeline most likely didn't come about until like just recent times when Nintendo start, started to realize, wow, all these people really want us to tell them what the timeline is. We should probably figure that out. And there, there's parts of it where you, where you look at the timeline and it's like, okay, that makes perfect sense. Yeah, it's perfect. And then there's other parts where you're just kind of like... Oh, so that's how you explain it. Like, like the older games, especially. They basically all, almost all the older games are sorted into a timeline where Link dies inside Ocarina of Time, like 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 a what if scenario. Um, and some people criticize that, saying that that's not proper. And like you know, it's not proper to have you know a a what if timeline because that's not what happened. You know, what happened is Link won. But at the same time, it's kind of like hey. You wanted a timeline. Here it is. Now, please, for the love of God, shut up. You know, and you kind of have to good deal with that. You know, um, and, and the timeline does make sense. It does make sense. Um, so I commend Nintendo for actually getting. That. Anyway, Hyrule Story is a book that's all about the Zelda timeline, um, the the development of the series over the past 25 years, and all this other stuff related to the series that has concept art and all that. Um, it was released inside Japan over a year ago, in just like I think it's December of the, of the last year, and everybody thought it wasn't gonna come to America. Everybody was like, "Well, rest in peace. We're, we're, we're not getting it." And so I, I was like, "Yep, I agree." So I bought my 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 Japanese one. And I was like, "Well, add it to the Zelda collection. I guess we'll never get to. I guess I'll never get to read it. I'll get to look at the pictures." Um, but they announced it for American release on January 29th. I'm a little unsure about that date. It's one of the 20th on the January. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm really looking forward to it, and I can't wait to actually give it a read. And so if you're a Zelda fan, I'd recommend putting it on pre-order off of Amazon myself, but, uh, if not, that's cool too. We're almost running out of time, but I want to finish this darn staircase. We're so close. Even though, technically, it wouldn't be done, I still gotta add the upside-down parts. But this is cool, you know, see? I'm, I'm actually building something. I'm so amazing. By the way, Mil Millie, uh, Packrat, and Adelton is on. Adelton? <laughs> what the crap's in Adelton? Wouldn't you like to know? Uh, yeah? Shh. 
MC's weird, mommy. Yeah. Uh, I still feel pretty not great. Like, uh, my, my sickness, it's, it's, it's almost gone. Like, I mean, I, 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 I want to say that I've had it for so long, like, it just being small, that I, by the time it actually hit me big, it's almost gone. It just feels like it's done. Okay, you know what I'm just going to do? I'm going to... I'm just going to finish this up. Okay, boom, 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 boom. There we go. Um, so that's that. Uh, what's coming up on my channel tonight, or today? Uh, we, we got ourselves some Ocarina of Time, and I amend an UG to that because I got to do more of the quest. Like, I'm at the end of the game, basically, where um, the quests that I have left are the ones I've been dreading to do this entire time. So, um, it's quite funny to watch me uh, on these. So, if you haven't given Ocarina of Time a chance, there's still time to catch up and, and get back into the game. What is that dual doppel? I gotta kill that. Hello, cow. Welcome. Oh, that reminds me of donations. I forgot to check them. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, if you've made a donation in the past few days, I'm sorry. I'll have to get you... Uh, on Friday, since tomorrow is Trickery Thursday. Um, but alas, Minecraft will also be coming out. To, no, I'm going to say no Minecraft. No Minecraft. Um, but I might put out a special video. Uh, I'm not sure what, though. Um, I got a, I got some other things to get done before Minecraft. And, and I want to work on the prank, especially. So I'm going to say maybe no Minecraft today. I'm, I apologize about that. But anyway, it's time for your random opinion. Okay, so this one's controversial. <laughs> Two percent milk is the best milk. Good morning, Minecraft. <laughs> 